All right, here we go. Time for a bike ride. When I was in Colorado, the original plan was to bring back my stuff because as I've said, North Dakota has kind of become my home base right now. So, um, but I'm not gonna get into the whole thing. It didn't quite work out that way, <laughs> unfortunately, but it's okay. I'm gonna go back in another uh, week or so and we're gonna get my stuff. I have till the end of the month to get my stuff out of storage and I should be able to do that. In the meantime though, I don't have my bike pump for the tires. Okay, so for my fellow cyclist out there, these uh, tires are under pressure. I usually like to keep them about um, 80 PSI. So, but these are also the um, Presta valves. And personally, I just cannot stand these Presta valves. Pain in the butt. I am gonna be getting another gravel bike to ride around here because that's more of what I need when I'm local. Um, but I am definitely not gonna get the Presta valves. That's why I have to be very specific about having my bike pump because you can mess these valves up so easy. But not having a bike pump here or a bike shop that's even close, this back tire is just, just a little bit soft. Um, it, it's definitely under 80 PSI, but, um, and you know, the risk with that is getting a, like a flat tire and it just doesn't roll as nice when it's not up to pressure. So, Hope, hoping I, you know, everything is fine and I don't get a flat tire. <laughs> but regardless, this is the perfect time of year to ride. I love it. Fall and spring, that's my weather. Perfect temperature to go riding in. So let's get going. Not only will my new gravel bike not have Presta valves, I'm going to make sure it has Schrader valves. I'm not going to have these stupid top of the line like rotor brakes screw that just give me simple rim brakes <laughs> when you can't even lay your bike down on the ground without people having a heart attack or or a, like risking uh, injury to your bike I'm sorry that's ridiculous I love my bike Wilbury and I will not be selling this bike but Wilbury is a bit of a princess <laughs> My bike camping days are definitely not over. Just, I'll be bike camping and doing some hiking and being here in North Dakota next year. In between, I need to be able to, like I keep saying, just stay in shape and ride as much as I can. And in order to do that where I am, I need something with a bigger tire that's better on soft gravel. <laughs> but no matter your situation, I hope you guys go out and get some exercise this weekend. Enjoy some sunshine and uh, live your best life, yo. <laughs>